ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessin. Well, they are underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Tyson's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. Big puncher here in front of us. Going up against a guy who can do a little bit of everything. A boxer, puncher, well-skilled, good athlete, well-conditioned. Yeah, the big punch, I think, is going to be in trouble, especially as the fight goes late. He's going to get more and more desperate, and he's going to look for that one bomb. And usually when you know it's coming, you can avoid it. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Kobe Nichols. Returns fire with a left hand. Nichols is crushed by a huge uppercut. Halfway through round number one. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire right back with one of his own. Good work by Kobe Nichols. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hatler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that. So far, so good. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Tyson's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Commits to the straight right. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Last 10 seconds. End of round one. Nichols' corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. by Kobe Nichols. Iron Mike lands the left. Good. Tyson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Locks away that headshot. Tyson with the hook. Nichols is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp. They're landing a crisp combination. To the head he goes with a left hand. Parries that punch intended for the head. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Nichols. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. A crushing two-punch combo by Nichols. So it's the end of the round. And as both men head back to their respective corners, Teddy, it uh, brings up a good point that's many times not talked enough, but the culture of a corner and how guys conduct themselves, what was always your philosophy in organizing and running a corner? Well, first of all, only one guy could be in charge. That's the trainer. You can't have uh, too many cooks in the kitchen. It has to be organized like anything else. And you have to have calm people. You only have one minute. Maybe by the time the fighter gets back, maybe it's 50 seconds. So you have to be efficient. You can't have guys that are excited. They have to be able to control their emotions just like the fighter does on the outside. And everyone has to know what their job is. Trying to take 
Take away the wheels, go into the body with the double jab. Tyson's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, <laughs> you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Good-looking two-punch combo by Kobe Nichols. Mike Tyson's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. All-out action throughout this round. Let's see how they finish it up. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good exchange, he fires back. 10 seconds to go in this third round. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Mike Tyson's out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight, but they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make a miss, make him pay. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Well-targeted left hand by Kobe Nichols. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Kobe Nichols. Nichols is punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Halfway through round number four. Tyson scoring with that right hand. There he is on the inside doing well. Here's one for you now he says. Right back with the left hand. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Mike Tyson. There he is from long range using that jab. Joe, if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects. And now the referee steps in and says, no, I'm not going to take that. The low blows, they're not going to go in my ring. Nichols is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Kobe Nichols. He missed that uppercut. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Jane scoring well with the right hand. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Nichols is all of a sudden finding his stride here. In that last round, we saw vast improvement. He's still down on your scorecard, right, Teddy? Yeah, I have him down a little bit. But he's, he's making a comeback here based on what we just saw. He's doing what he needs to do. You know, he's picking up the pace a little bit, and he's starting to get into the right range. To me, before, he was too far back. Now he's taking the steps to put himself in a position where he can start doing the things he needs to do to get back in this fight. Look at that combination by Nichols. Nichols' right hand scores well that time. Good block. Nichols is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Tyson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He returns the favor with an uppercut. 
Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Tyson's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Oh, a good right hand by Nichols. Well, maybe one of the most impressive characteristics and traits in all of boxing, and we're seeing it on display here. He has an iron chin. Nichols' combination punching is working well here. That's a well-scored left hand by Nichols. Right to the head with that right. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Good step back counter punch there. Tyson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. scheduled rounds here a little give and take and here comes the left hand and he returns on that exchange a well targeted jab that time and that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside something to keep you away from your opponent see he's got his guard up really well that time and it protects his head Tyson with a powerful left hand. Good way to protect the midsection. Little head hunting with the left. Super two punch combo by Nichols. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Solid left hand scored by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson blocking that punch. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Punches and bunches, combination up top. It is unbelievable how this fight is being fought. Both guys unwilling to stop. One guy goes at it. The other guy beats him punch for punch. Well, you've heard it before. You've heard the term used one day at a time to deal with something very difficult. Well, this is one round at a time. That is the only way these fighters, these warriors, could deal with this kind of pace. Sharp three punches landing by Nichols. Fires right back at him. And this round comes to an end. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Nichols' is cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude, as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Nichols. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Tyson's left now getting into the mix. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Scores up top with the left. Tyson's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Fighting, snapping shot by Mike Tyson. Halfway through the seventh round. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Tyson's 
so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. And he's really doing a nice job of hitting the mark with the jab. And that's exactly what he needs. And it's not hard to hit the mark when the mark's coming at you. The right choice of a punch. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Tyson's clearly found something that he likes, and it's that uppercut on the inside. Yeah, what he needs to find is something on top of it, though, because the head comes up. Well, when the head's up, put a couple right on top. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. He just missed that shot up top. And that's the end of round seven. Tyson's leading on your scorecard as we start round number eight, Teddy. But there is some doubt here. Only a few rounds remain. Yeah, don't forget now in the other corner what's going on. We're just looking at one side here, Joe. But in the other corner, they're very aware of what's going on. They're behind. They're telling their guy, get after him. So it's not going to be enough to just stay status quo. This guy better be ready to lift up his concentration a little. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Nichols. He missed with that headshot. Mike Tyson's doing well here with that two-punch combination. to erode away that body with the combination punching. That's a good block by Nichols. Nichols is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Targeted double jab by Mike Tyson. And round eight comes to an end. Tyson's gathering himself right now in the corner, and his trainer is really doing him a good service in reminding him, yes, to this point, the later stages of this fight, you're in control, but still, go out and do everything we talked about in training camp. Fight this round, baby.